Hi. Today I want to talk about something called a town meeting. You learned about town meetings when you talked about the New England colonies. They were a form of self-government developed by the colonists, particularly the New Englanders. How did they work? Well, at certain times of the year, all the people in a town or village came together in a big meeting. At that meeting they did three things. First they elected all the officials of the town government. Second, they voted on all the laws for the town. Every law in the town was voted into existence by a vote of all the people in the town. Finally, all the people voted on what they sold pay in taxes and how that money should be spent. Taxes. Hate them but got to have them. The colonists liked the idea of town meeting. It was very democratic. That means that every voter got to vote on everything happening in his village. Sorry ladies, we were not allowed to vote back then. So unfair. The men liked the idea that they were deciding through their votes what laws they would have to obey. No laws from a king, just laws that the majority of the people in the community decided should apply to their village or town. For people who had lived under a king who did not like their religion and the way they ran their communities, this was wonderful. They could now govern themselves. Town meeting were the start of democracy in America. When you are asked about how democracy got started here, you should always start by mentioning town meetings. The question might ask what was one of the first institutions of democracy. Institutions means a structure of government. The town meeting is an institution of government or a structure of government. It is one of the most important ways colonists created and used government in colonial America. Go to run to get to my U.S. history class. Bye. See ya later.